to show you how to make a rocket motor out of ingredients that you'll find around your house. You need some scissors, some duct tape, a glass jar, jam jar is fine, uh, some foil, kitchen roll, and some sodium chlorate weed killer. It's got to be sodium chlorate, that's quite important. It should say on the back that it is an oxidizer. Um, I've got this from B&Q, so it's quite easy to get hold of. Uh, right, let's start. Okay, so take some of your weed killer and put a little bit into your jam jar, I don't need much. Uh, that one will do. Then get some hot water, out of like a kettle or something. So put a little bit in, not too much. Uh, and just get an old spoon. Uh, like this one. Just stir it until it all dissolves. If it hasn't all dissolved like mine, just put a little bit more water in. Not too much. If you make it too dilute, it won't work. Uh, just keep stirring. Alright, looks about right, so uh, time for the next step. Okay, so after you've got your solution ready, just take an ordinary piece of kitchen roll, uh, fold it in half, like that, and in half again, like that, and in half again, and again. Then just put it into the water so it absorbs it. Now it will be hot because I've just got that out of the kettle. Uh, find like an old pencil or something just to pull it back out again. Just make sure it's nice and soaked. Okay, just pull it back out. Uh, unfold it. And then just basically leave it to dry. You can hang it out on the washing line or if you're impatient like I am, just use a hairdryer. So if you're going to dry it with a hairdryer like I am, because you can't be bothered to wait, just place it on a non-absorbent surface like a piece of plastic. I just cut out a, uh, a drink bottle to get this and uh, just start drying it basically. Right then, when it's dry it should feel quite rigid, it should be a bit stiffer than normal. Um, now take some scissors and just cut uh, about in the middle, about a centimetre across and about four centimetres down, a little strip. So it looks like that. Yeah, and then just take it and fold these bits down so a little bit sticks out. Um, then just take a side and fold it over like this so that the fuse will stick out like that. Uh, then fold the back bit up like that and then just uh, get the side that the fuse is on and roll it up. It, it's got to be the fuse side first because otherwise it won't burn properly and it probably won't work so just roll it up and then you have your basic rocket motor. Uh, then take some foil and just wrap it in foil a couple of times. Uh, make sure it's nice and well wrapped because otherwise it will just explode in your face. So just roll it up nicely. Uh, just take one end, scrunch it up. Now the end of the fuse is at, um, if it's a little bit long like this is, just cut some slits into the foil. Uh, fold the foil down, get your fuse twist it slightly so it goes nice and thin so it should look sort of like that and then just take your foil and just press it around the outside so you've got a nice thin nozzle where the smoke's going to come out of. Uh, you might want to wrap it more than once because that'll make it a bit more secure and it'll be less likely to explode. So there you go, that's a basic rocket motor. The motor I'm going to use to demonstrate is only a quarter of the size of the one I just made. This is so I can launch it nicely in my back garden without blowing anything up. Um, all you need to do to light it is just light the fuse basically. Not much to it, so uh just going to show you what it does now.
though you've just seen the launch, if you want to be really creative, you can make your own rocket, like I have, it's just made out of paper. Uh, but if you've got a dog, it's best not to let him see the launch because he'll try and eat the rocket like he's doing at the moment.